Hello and welcome to Wildcat Action News. I'm Priya. And I'm Izzy. This week, Wilder Way kicks off its annual book bracket. Let's go to Leah and Janisha for more information. Hello, Wildcats. I'm Leah. And I'm Janisha. Every March, Wilder Way holds its annual book bracket tournament to find out which book is this year's favorite at Wilder Way. Wildcats in each grade vote for their favorite book to move up in the competition before unveiling this year's champions at the end of the month. We're going to send it to 5A to unveil the books in this year's competition. Up first in the K2 bracket, we have... The Koala Who Could versus The Wonky Donkey. Now we have Press Start versus We Don't Need Our Classmates. Up we have Diary of a Pug versus How I Met My Monster. In the final K2 bracket we have Dogman versus Mercy Watson to the rescue. Now we are ready for the three through five bracket. Up first we have Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing and The Wild Robot. Up next we have the one and only Ivan versus Pax. Next we have Allergic versus Matt B Kid Spy. And now our final three five competition. We have Restart versus Sunny Side Up. It looks like we have some great books in this year's competition. Be on the lookout for voting forms being sent out this week so that all Wildcats can vote for round one. Which book do you think will be this year's champion? For All Cat Action News, I'm Leah. And I'm Judisha. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. Now let's send it to Lucas and Ahmed for this week's Staff Spotlight. Hello, I'm Ahmed. And I'm Lucas. And today we are here with Miss Rivera for this week's Task Spotlight. How long have you been teaching at Wilder Waite? Um, this is my first year here at Wilder Waite. What do you like most about being a teacher? Um, I love getting to work with kids and making a difference. And as a Spanish teacher, I love being able to share a little bit about my culture and who I am. What is your favorite book? Um, I remember as an eighth grader, we read a book called To Kill a Mockingbird in our English class, and ever since then, that kind of grew my love for reading. What is your favorite food to eat? Definitely Mexican, but I will be honest and say that here in Peoria, you don't find a lot of authentic Mexican food, um, but I definitely miss our food back home. What is your favorite hobby? Um, I love to sing, um, I love to craft, and definitely spend time with my family. Where would you like to go for vacation? The most magical place on earth, Disney. <laughs> what do you like about teaching Spanish? So Spanish was my first language, and I love that I get to share that with the students. Um, again, part of my culture and who I am and my background, and so it's just so fun to be able to um, share that with others. Thank you, Mrs. Rivera. Thank you, Ahmed and Lucas. For, for joining us this week on Star Spotlight. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. It's time for Schooly Doo! Now that we have the team assembled, it is time to split up and look for clues. Sasa, Teenage Ninja, Super Spy, you and Owen the cat check the hallway. Huh? Karen, you and Grandma check the cafeteria for anything that Landon and I may have missed. What did he say? I forgot my hearing aid! 
Yay! Landon, you and I will check the basement. Sounds like there have been some strange happenings down there. We all meet in the cafeteria afterwards. Any questions? Do you have the Wi-Fi password? This cranberry guy is really bossy. I think I need to speak to his manager. It's pronounced Cranberry, not Cranberry, and I am the manager, Karen. It's almost time for my nap. Yes, Owen, we'll get some cat food for you when we're done. Great, let's go find Chef Smith. I'm totes annoyed right now. This Wi-Fi signal is soups weak. Selfie! What's that, Owen? You found something? Near the place the menu is told, the chef you seek is where it's cold? <coughs> Refrigerator? No, that doesn't make sense. Let's take this back to the team and try to figure it out. How did I get stuck checking the cafeteria? I am too important to be crawling and digging through whatever this is. Grandma, have you found anything yet? Oh great, I have a partner that sleeps all the time. I need to talk to that cranberry guy to get a better grandma. What is this place? It seems to be some kind of secret lair. Let's look around, shall we? Wait, what is this? It looks like a book of spells. Let's take this back to the team. Let's send it down for a special report. Hello, Isabel here. This week, the 5th grade Project Impact team is kicking off its annual coin wars here at Wilder Waite. Throughout the month of March, Wilder Waite will be raising money for JDRF in order to fight juvenile diabetes. We spoke with Ms. Arnott and Ms. Berg to find out more information. Mrs. Berg, can you tell us a little bit about the JDRF project? Absolutely. This is a part of our Project Impact uh, fundraising uh, activities that we do each year. And a few years ago, we had a student who was diabetic. And uh, because of him, that's when we really embraced this project and uh, started collecting. And since then, it's grown and grown and grown. I will share, too, since then, we've had a number of other students who were diagnosed with diabetes. And we are just happy to support not only the members of our school family, but the community as well. So helping uh, kids uh, work through that. Um, and their treatment. I will share with you that I believe our highest record for our collection was $1,600, so $1,600, and I am just wondering if we can uh, surpass that again and uh, see how much that we can collect for this terrific program. Mrs. Arnott, can you tell us a little bit about the Coin Wars? Absolutely, Isabel, thanks for asking. This March, for our new Project Impact Project for the fifth graders, we're going to raise money to help a great foundation called JDRF. JDRF stands for Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, and there's lots of kids right now with type 1 diabetes, and we thought it'd be a great chance for us to raise money for them. So what we're going to do, you're going to have a box in your classroom. It's going to be marked with your uh, classroom number, and you can bring in coins of any type, pennies, quarters, nickels, dimes. The more coins you bring, the better. You can also bring in bills, $1, $5, $10. If your parents would like to write a check, they could write a check to JDRF. And all of these proceeds will go to help this great foundation and help cure juvenile diabetes. And we've got a little contest too. The class that raises the most money 
is going to get a popsicle party. And this will be announced at the final basketball game that we celebrate at the end of March, March 25th. We're super excited for the kids to raise money and we hope you're excited too. Bring in those coins. We look forward to raising money for this important cause. So bring in those coins, Wildcats, and your class could be the winner. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. Let's go to this week's lunch menu. Hi Wildcats, Chef Bangert here. Chef Smith is missing and Chef Minders is with the Schoolie Do team looking for her. So I am here to fill in this week. On Monday, we are having chicken patties. Tuesday is Nacho El Grande. On Wednesday, we're having chicken nuggets. Thursday is beef chili day. And on Friday, we're having cheese pizza. Have a great week and enjoy your lunches, Wildcats. It's time for the weather report from 5A. Let's go there now. The, the Weekly Forecast. Presented by 5A. Hello everyone, I'm Claire. And I'm Madison here with the 5A weather team. Let's take a look at this week's forecast. Things are cooling down this week. Monday and Tuesday highs will be around 40. On Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures will rise around 50 degrees. On Friday, we'll get all the way down to a high of 30 with a chance of snow. Bundle up and stay warm, Wildcats. For weather, I'm Claire. And I'm Madison. See, See you next, next week. It's time for this week's Good News Report from 5A. This is 5A's Good News Crew. We are on the lookout for Wildcats who are meeting our four school expectations. Safe, responsible, kind, and respectful. Let's go see who is meeting our four school expectations. I have Akeem here from 1AH, and he says that he's meeting one of our school expectations by being respectful. How are you meeting this expectation? By being in taps in the hallway. I have Aiden here from 5H, and he says he's meeting our school expectations by being kind. How do you meet this expectation? By helping my friends if they're hurt, I help them get to the office. I have Ryan here from KS, and he says that he's meeting one of our school expectations by being kind. How are you meeting this expectation? By helping my friends up when they fall. That's all the time we have for this week. For Good News Crew, I'm Chloe. And I'm Alice. Will, Will we catch, catch you being great? It's time for the quick quiz. Can you get the answer? Let's go to this week's Joke of the Week, brought to you by 5H. Why did the leprechaun cross the rainbow? To eat the Skittles. Ooh, Skittles, nice. Ooh. Now let's send out Audit in a shawl to find out the winner of last week's news quiz competition. Hello, Wildcats. This week's news quiz winner is Austin from 2W. Austin will be receiving a certificate and three Starbursts, uh, four suckers, and one Dolly Rancher. Keep filling out the news quiz so you could be our next winner. See you all next week, and let's send it back up to the newsroom. That's all the time we have for this week. Thank you for joining us. See you next time on Wildcat Action News.
you recommend it? I could just uh, hand it to you. Oh, oh okay, yeah. you could. Three. It's pronounced Pernberry, not Kurt. Oh, also there was this one time where I was like, I was like 10 feet up a tree in my backyard and a squirrel came and he was kind of eyeing me and I had this apple in my mouth because I like was using my hands to climb up the tree and, and the squirrel was eyeing me and I was oh, afraid of squirrels. I want to go home. I started backing up, not realizing that I was about to fall. So then like the squirrel kind of jumped and I got scared. So I fell out like 10 feet out of a tree. I was fine, but then like, Get me uh, out of the fridge. Later, I was at my neighbor's house, and he had a scooter, and his uh, driveway was kind of messed up. So I like fell face first as I was riding the scooter, and I had blood in my eyes and my nose and my mouth. It was a mess, and I was screaming.